Took a little break this week, but we're back with some sax section tips. Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood sax fan Alex here. I wanted to update you all on some things that I've been working on in the past couple of weeks. The first round of the Battle of the Sax Reed tournament has finally finished and we're on way to making sure that the brackets are ready to go. I also wanted to remind everybody about the giveaway. Remember, subscribe to my channel and comment on any of the battles that have previously been done in that series. Comment on which read you like the most and you'll be entered in a random raffle to win some special goodies including some reads in the battle, some stuff from Key Leaves, and another surprise in there. So what are you waiting for? If you want to get those special goodies, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment. Now on to the sax section. One of my favorite settings to play as a musician, as a saxophonist. Seeing some famous big bands such as Duke Ellington's orchestra, the WDR big band, Maria Schneider's orchestra, and so many more big bands have made me want to play in big bands more and more. So as a saxophonist, I have to think about how I can make a section great. The first thing is, is to know your roles as a saxophonist in a sax section. So typically, we have five saxophonists from Barry, tenor two, tenor one, alto two, and alto one. Do not be fooled by the numbers. Every saxophonist in that section is crucial. If you are one of these five, you're going to have to know who to listen to, what your role is in the sax section, and what to do if there's problems. Everybody has an important role. The tenor two has an important role, the barry has an important role, the alto one and alto two and tenor one also have a very important role. And really, these numbers just dictate how high they are in terms of voice for the voicing of a chord. This does not necessarily mean that alto one is the king of sax. It just means that they have the highest voice in the section. There is an unspoken rule though, where there is a hierarchical pyramid in terms of knowing how to project and knowing where to listen to in terms of the sax section. If you're the lead alto player, make sure that you interpret your voice clearly so that the others can support you. If you're the berry player, support the melody. More often than not, you're going to be doubling the melody or the top voice. So listen to the lead alto player or whoever's playing the top voice and support them. You're a beefy instrument, so go for it, but don't overpower them. If you are any of the other saxophonists, such as alto two, tenor one, and tenor two, you have a role of support. You are the spicy notes in the chord that will be laid out for the sax section. So don't be timid, play, but remember, there's gonna be a voice above you, so don't go too much, emulate how they approach the melody or the voice, and you'll have a much better time with your sax section. There's so much to talk about in terms of sax section that I can't do this in just one video. I'm trying, I'm, I feel like I'm just gonna do this for an hour, and I don't wanna bore you all. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce my new series focusing on the sax section called Sax Section Tips. I'm going to be focusing on the roles of the saxophonist, what to do in case you run into some problems with your sax section, how to lead your sax section, and so many more things to help you out. So stay tuned for the first video of the sax section tips, and I hope that with this, your sax section will run smoothly and you'll know exactly what to do. If you're in high school and you're in a jazz band and you're in the sax section, enjoy those moments because they don't come as often as you think they will. The sax section is a wonderful thing, and if you make auditions such as Allstate, Grammy Band, any type of big band competition, you're going to really appreciate that you knew how to play in a section. And check out my videos as well, so that you stay up to date with helpful tips for the sax section. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy these helpful tips. The new series will come up soon, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for all your standards, beats, and tips on the sax and the jazz. Have a great week and stay sexy.